Welcome to the Tulip Mania Art Podcast. Tulips on the Roof A silky carpet of scarlet tulips blooming on a roof. And not a single roof, but a whole town of housetops in bloom. A bewildering heavenly miracle, would you say? Not at all. An image of Srinagar, the capital of Kashmir, that could be admired every spring from the hills surrounding the city, from the early days of the Mughal Empire until the dawn of the 20th century, when the tradition fell into disuse, engulfed by the technological progress. Burza Pash, or birch roof in Kashmiri, that is what the locals used to call this unique type of traditional roofing, indigenous to Kashmir and historically built in this area for centuries. It was built of wooden planks, coated with birch bark and covered with a layer of 8 to 10 centimeters of fertile earth where grass and flowers were planted. It was a perfect example of waterproof roofing, providing the necessary insulation vital in the mountainous Kashmir region to protect the dwelling from excessive heat during the summertime and from the cold during the freezing winters. The roofs were usually planted with grass by the less well-to-do families, but the representatives of the middle and higher income class were usually adorning their roof gardens with flowers. The most luxuriant bloom displays were to be admired on the roofs of shrines and mosques. Depending on the custom of the region, irises, lilies and tulips were chosen to embellish the Bursapash. Tulips were typical for the capital city Srinagar and its surroundings. The roofs were normally planted with the scarlet blooming Tulipa lanata, a variety naturalized in the Kashmir Valley, abundantly growing in the wild and popular with the name Gullala in the Kashmir language. The humble Tulipa lanata is in some sense the natural counterpart of the man-made Burza Pash. Just as the birch roof is covered with earth, adding to the insulation of the human dwelling, so is the tulipa lanata, unique in the tulip world by its tunic, lined on the inside by a layer of long, thin and woolly hairs, insulating the bulb to protect it from the harsh environment surrounding it. This podcast is designed to give you a foretaste of our tulip book, and if you like our tulip facts and are interested to find out more, please go to our webpage www.tulipmania.art and subscribe to get notified when the book will be launched.